Check out my Society6 shop at society6.com forward slash keep it crafty. Or for these specific items, you can find links in the description below. In order to make a unicorn balloon, start out by pumping up a 260 balloon three fourths of the way. Then make a three finger bubble. Then pull the nozzle back and twist it into the twist you just made. Then tuck it under itself to prevent it from coming undone. If it's an oval shape, then you did it right. This will be the unicorn's muzzle. Make a one finger bubble. Then make a pinch twist by holding the surrounding bubbles in one hand, then pulling and twisting the one finger bubble with the other hand. Make another one finger bubble. Now pinch twist the second one finger bubble. These will be the unicorn's ears. You may need to adjust them a little so they rest on top of the unicorn's head. If the balloon ever feels too tight, just give it a little squeeze to distribute the air. Now make a four finger bubble for the unicorn's neck. Now make another four finger bubble for one of the unicorn's legs. And then make another four finger bubble for the unicorn's second leg. Twist the last two bubbles together. Make another four finger bubble for the unicorn's body. Then make two more four finger bubbles for the unicorn's back legs. Twist the back legs together. This is what it should look like so far. Now let's remove the tail by pinching and holding the base of the tail and then using scissors to cut off the tip and deflate it. Wrap the tail around two of your fingers and then the unicorn's back legs and tie it in a knot. Then cut off the leftover piece. The back legs are a bit flimsy now, but only until we put on a new tail. Now pump up another 260 balloon almost all the way. You'll just want to leave a four finger tail at the end. Wrap the tail of the balloon around one of the unicorn's ears. Of course, this will be the unicorn's horn. Now make three one finger bubbles in a row. These will be the unicorn's mane. the bottom of the mane into the bottom of the neck. This next part's a little tricky. What you'll want to do is squeeze and hold the next part of the balloon until there's a little section that's deflated. 
Then you'll need to cut it off with scissors. The remainder of the balloon will be used for the tail, but you won't need the whole thing. Measure out a 10 finger bubble and deflate the rest. You're going to want to tie a knot in the end, but before doing that, give yourself a little extra room so that your bubble won't be too tight. Now you're going to want to make a one finger bubble. Now pull the tail back and twist it into the previous twist. Then cut off the leftover tail. Then twist the bubble around the back legs. The bubble will keep the back legs stable. Squeeze the tail into an S shape to give it a curve. It also helps to pinch the curved sections. Now the only thing left to do is to draw on a face with a sharpie.